my life on the X list. Now I would like to introduce um, a very special ally to the LGBT community, someone who has been um, supporting LGBT rights for a while, uh, someone who speaks her mind and uh, knows, how to, knows how to tell the truth, knows how to say it like it is and, um, and keep everybody in good spirits. Let me introduce Kathy Griffin. share the same rights as everyone else. That's all you're asking. We're just asking for the same rights as everybody else. And we will succeed because a march and a movement can bring about change. In the 50s and 60s, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King and his fellow civil rights warriors, they marched. They just marched. But it actually led to an end to legal segregation. At the end of the 80s, of course, in Europe, people who cherished liberty joined hands and marched. Simply marched against their oppressors. And the Berlin Wall came down. And this march, this movement will bring down the walls of discrimination in this state. Fish to fry, and it's a simple, you know, civil 
the liberty issue. You would never in a million years go up to a person of color and say, well, you know, I hear black people want to get married now. I mean, it's fine if they live together. You would cringe, would you not? Yeah. I hear the Mexicans want to vote. There goes the neighborhood. I mean, <laughs> right? It would sound absolutely silly. And yet, across the state, people are having dinner conversations saying, well, do gay people really have the right to get married? Yes. A domestic union, domestic partnership, it's not the same. It's separate but equal. See, I